Hey guys, it's Tabitha and I'm back with another video. I know it's been a long time, but we're back again. take me so long i'm currently out of school right now because <laughs> i don't have any classes to take i've taken all of them so i'm just going to get exception to the um nursing program so i'm just here um a lot of work though so i'm back and i said that i'll be back after i think i told that to y'all i'm not sure but I, I was waiting to get my ring light and stuff so i'm finally back and hopefully the lighting is a bit better i have the same color bulbs now one isn't like orange and the other one is white they're all white so here i am i put a poll on the community tab by the way if you're not uh subscribed please subscribe i posted a poll and you guys said that you wanted an in-depth tutorial or an easy makeup tutorial so i'm here for that um i thought that all my makeup tutorials were <laughs> pretty easy to follow but apparently i was wrong um so I'm back I'm here and I'm you know ready to do that for you guys I hope you guys find this very helpful and informative so let's get into the video so I'm gonna start by pulling back my hair um you can get clips for this or you know if you don't need to do that then totally fine hey guys it's tab from the future and I'm gonna be narrating the rest of this video so first I started by using my NYX marshmallow primer and I started rubbing that in. Um, as you can see, I don't really, I try not to pull too much when I rub in my moisturizer or primer. Um, also, if you wanna do skincare before this step, feel free to. But for time for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna show me applying primer. And this is what it should look like. Uh, I'm gonna use a skin tone concealer to get rid of some of the pigmentation on my face, um, covering up some of the acne scars and dark uh, under eyes. Um, I also use this in the corner of my mouth because I have some, you know, lines on the, uh, outside of my mouth. Um, I'm going to use a brush to blend that. Use a beauty blender if that works for you or both, um, for a more skin-like finish. And use the brush in tapping motions. Please don't swipe. It's just going to move the product around and make it look really bad. This is what it should look like so far. And then I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless, uh, foundation. On top of that, just to start the base, I'm applying that with a small brush. Use your fingers. This is me trying to be cute and using a small brush, even though I never, ever do that. Um, yeah, use your hands or anything, but if you want to, you know, cut down on bacteria and stuff, you touch your face, then feel free to use a brush or anything. Um, I'm using that on the place I think I need it most, and then I'm blending it with a damp beauty blender. Um, this one is dirty. Please do not mind that. By the way, the shade of this foundation is Spicy Brown. All of the products I'm using will be linked in the description box below. As always, or trying to always, this is the finished result of that. I'm then using a lighter concealer to highlight my face. Um, this is a Tarte concealer. Feel free to use any drugstore concealer. The LA Color has a pretty good dupe for that. And Bisque um, is pretty equivalent. Um, I'm applying that below my eyes, um, on the corners of my mouth, my cupid's bow, chin, and on my nose, I also apply on my forehead. If you're trying to go for a sharper look around the eyes, um, blend that upwards or apply more towards the corner of your eye um, and outwards. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but then I'm going to um, tap, tap, tap with the brush and blend that out. Please do not swipe again. It will not look very good. Um, for a more even, you know, blend, just tap. I'm using a setting powder. This one is a really light setting powder. I'm not baking because usually this type of makeup doesn't require that, but I'm using that to set under my eyes, around my nose, and that's pretty much it for that. Then I move on to contouring and my Dirty Contour Palette by Morphe. I'm using those three shades basically to, you know, accentuate my cheekbones. Uh, blend up when you're contouring please do not blend down it just makes you know it looks look muddy sort of and then I'm gonna start with the eyes I'm gonna apply a base shade basically there's a formula for Ozone makeup a base shade contour shades on the inner corner and the outer corner do not forget to apply that 
base shade to the bottom of the eye also um please blend those out by the way um it looks way better when you blend it correctly there i am applying it to the bottom waterline this is the base shade that i used before i'm not listing any specific products for these because i just use one palette it's the morphe 35g palette it will also be linked down below if you want to use those but any type of browns neutral shades will be okay um, then I'm using the darker shade to accentuate the agusal. Um, This is sort of important because it really makes the eyes look bigger. And then I'm going in with an even darker shade and accentuating the outer part of the eye. I'm using this glitter that I got from Yestel. Uh, my coat will be linked in the description box as always. And I'm applying the glitter to the center part of the eye using my... Um, a repetitive motion of using the brush and then tapping it with my finger and then I'm gonna apply the glitter to the agiosal making the eyes look even bigger and then I'm gonna use an eyeliner or a dark brown like or a black eyeshadow and using that to uh, extend my upper lash line downwards well it's not really downwards but in a straight line basically and that's mostly it for the eyes. Um, I'm using a blush. Uh, I was in a hurry, so please don't use this much blush. You can blend it out later with, you know, your setting powder. Um, but yeah, that's okay. And then I'm doing a gradient lip um, with Berlin from the NYX Matte uh, lipstick the one I always use in my videos it will also be linked in the description basically I'm applying it to the bottom lip and trying not to apply so much to the top lip by like rubbing my lips together if that makes sense if you see any areas that you want to accentuate mostly the corners of the lips then you know use the applicator to do that I'm then applying a red or a slightly red brown color to the inside of the lip and doing that same motion where I use my finger to pat and rubbing my lips together. Um, we're doing the finishing steps of the base by doing the nose contour. Um, you may see me fiddle around with this because, you know, it's not an exact science. Even though I wish it was, it's very hard to do <laughs> nose contour because I have a very bulbous tip on my nose. Um, but yeah, please blend more than this. I was in a hurry to make this video. Um, I'm using the Maybelline Skyline Mascara to do my eyelashes. Uh, bottom and top. And this is what it should look like. Um, we're going to add some more details later, like contacts, and we're going to do our hair. Um, and basically, that's how the makeup should look. Um, you can get, achieve different looks by, you know, messing with the nose contour like I'm doing here, or adding contacts as different colors, you know, uh, changing lipstick colors, uh, making the blush a little lighter like I did. These were filmed on two, two separate days, so if it looks a little different, then that's why. But I followed the exact same makeup, so, you know, it can differ. And that's the beauty of it all. So I hope you guys found this useful, and enjoy the rest of the video. By the way, speaking of making your makeup look different by adding different contacts, Olens sent me a couple of contacts to try from their new unreleased collection that releases on the 26th. Um, they sent me the glowy lenses. It comes in black, brown, and ash gray. If you keep watching, you will see we try all of these lenses on and you will see how different they make my eyes look and how beautiful they are. Um, they are two-toned and as you can see, the lower half is a slightly different color. And I would definitely have to say glowy black is my favorite because it looks the most natural. And by the way, don't forget to use my coupon code TABITHA2021 to get 10% off your purchase at Owens Global. Now please enjoy the rest of the video and these beautiful contact lenses. <laughs> Second day of filming this video, and I did all of this in about like 
10 to 15 minutes it should not take that long the only reason it's taking me this long to do is because i'm filming but yeah everything turned out i pretty much followed the same thing that i did in this video and i think it came up pretty much the same i didn't put as much glitter on you can do whatever you want um but this is just based the basics um so if you guys want more creative ones like purple i mean like any colors and please let me know in the comments down below um i'll also leave my um coupon code <laughs> my discount code for these contact lenses or anything you can use on any of the old lens contacts they're already pretty cheap compared to like other sites like i don't want to name names but other contact sites and they also use like really good materials to make their contacts so as you can see i changed contacts like three times and my eyes are not irritated at all like i don't put on contacts often like i don't wear contacts every day but like they're like not irritated it is 12 o'clock in the morning so if you do see any redness it's because i'm tired i've been playing tennis today so um yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and check out Olens. everything will be linked down in the bio and down in the description box so thank you everybody and i know i've been gone for a long time but please 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 like this video and yeah keep be subscribed for more